Within the first few days of Pokemon Go's July 2016 launch, the app has already been downloaded an estimated 7.5 million times in the United States alone. And by the time you're watching this, that number has skyrocketed. Nintendo stock soared as the game outperformed all expectations. People around the world have gone crazy for the augmented reality installment in the long-running series, which allows users to catch Pokemon, battle at gyms, and collect items in the world around them. But Pokemon Go isn't all fun and games. Some players have found injuries, criminals, and even death on their adventures. Gotta catch them all. For Android users, be wary when downloading Pokemon Go from any source other than the Google Play Store. The Android operating system allows users, particularly those who have rooted devices, to download program files from outside of the official App Store and install them on their phones. For Pokemon fans living in countries that can't download the app officially yet, these files are the only way for them to get early access to the game. Additionally, some of these files are targeted at players who want to game the system. These cheat versions of the app supposedly allow them to spoof their GPS location in order to visit gyms and catch Pokemon without leaving their couches. The bad news? Enterprising hackers have taken advantage of the demand for these files, releasing versions of Pokemon Go packed with viruses that take control of the user's phone. Home Invasion Pokemon Go developers Niantic are also responsible for another augmented reality game, Ingress. In that app, users are encouraged to visit, claim, and add local points of interest for their team like a global game of Capture the Flag. These points of interest were reused by Niantic when developing the map used by Pokemon Go. Unfortunately, this has led to some mishaps and confusion for players trying to visit certain gyms and Pokestops. In Australia, one local police station took to social media to ask players to please stop wandering into their station in search of Pikachu. Massachusetts resident Boone Sheridan has it even worse. He bought an old church in 2015 and converted it into a home. The church was previously an ingress portal and is now a gym in Pokemon Go. Sheridan reported that he's lost count of the number of players who have shown up at his residence at all hours in the day and night. Sheridan has made the best of the situation, venturing outside to meet some of the visitors. The United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. has taken a different stance on dedicated Pokemon hunters. While it probably should go without saying, the museum recently issued a statement after an influx of misguided visitors saying, quote, We feel playing Pokemon Go in a memorial dedicated to the victims of Nazism is inappropriate. We encourage visitors to use their phones to share and engage with museum content while here. Technology can be an important learning tool, but this game falls outside of our educational and memorial mission. We are looking into how the museum can be removed from it. Don't be tentacruel. Enterprising criminals in O'Fallon, Missouri have used the allure of Pokemon Go to draw unsuspecting players into traps. These criminals placed lure modules on Pokestops in remote locations and waited for adventurers to come running. The modules increase the chance of Pokemon appearing nearby, which in turn attracts more trainers to the location to catch them. After an unlucky player showed up, the thieves relieved them of their belongings at gunpoint. <laughs> you fools! This wouldn't have happened if you'd handed over your Pokemon nicely. But now it's too late for that, so I'm going to take those Pokemon and destroy you! There were 11 such incidents in the O'Fallon and St. Louis area over the span of a few days. Eventually, the criminals were captured following another stick-up, and they were charged with first-degree armed robbery and Grand Theft Squirtle. That's definitely not a water type. In rural Wyoming, 19-year-old Pokemon Go trainer Shayla Wiggins set out to catch some rare Pokemon near the Big Wind River. I woke up this morning, and I wanted to go get a water Pokemon, so I just got up and went for my little walk, for a walk to go catch Pokemon. When Wiggins realized she was standing just a few steps away from a corpse, she called the police. No word on whether or not Wiggins ever found that water-type Pokemon. Prepare for trouble. Niantic may have foreseen some of the issues related to would-be Pokemon trainers with their faces buried in their phones, especially after multiple tragic deaths associated with Ingress. When you start up a game, a warning cautions trainers to stay aware of their surroundings. But there have still been reports of players who were just a little too focused on catching that Flareon and ended up with various injuries to show for it. Lindsay Plunkett, a 23-year-old waitress in Asheville, North Carolina, tripped over a cinder block while playing the game and earned a colorful bruise on her right shin. One Reddit user claimed that their Pokemon Go adventure ended up with a trip to the local emergency room. Oh no! Staryu looks like it's in real pain! It doesn't even have a face! How can you tell? And this is just a few days in. How long until the Poke death toll spikes? Blasting off at the speed of light. 
While we expected people to get fired from their jobs for playing too much Pokemon Go, we weren't expecting someone to get fired for not playing it. An Australian expatriate had recently relocated to Singapore in order to take a marketing job for 99.co, an online real estate portal. When he found out that Pokemon Go wasn't available to play in Singapore yet, he took to social media to vent his frustration publicly. Naturally, many native Singaporeans took issue with his language insulting their homeland and started arguing with him online. Instead of apologizing for his outburst, he doubled down, claiming that he was there for work because the locals, quote, can't even read and were only good at, quote, mouthing off. Oh, no. It didn't take long for the man's employer to find out about his offensive online behavior. 99.co apologized and he found himself fired from his position the very same day, which leaves him plenty of time to catch them all. Job applications, that is. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know what crazy stories you've heard about Pokemon Go.